The three-part BBC adaption of Agatha Christie's book sees a family torn apart by the murder of matriarch Rachel, played by Anna Chancellor, and a hunt to find out the identity of her er. Tonight's first part featured many twists and turns and fans are already gripped. However, loyal Agatha Christie fans have been keeping a close eye on the series. Sarah explained to Digital Spy, I've taken some very clear and quite vague liberties with the story of the novel. But I think I've represented the spirit of the novel. I wanted to write something that you think is familiar but it isn't. The writer also revealed that she had been directly contacted by fans of the 1958 novel. Sarah continued, they've got to feel like they live, and they've got blood pulsing through their veins. And, like, they've got something to say. A couple of real Agatha Christie fans have contacted me via Twitter and things like that. Real devotees. To the extent that they dress as Poirot when they go to festivals. Sarah said that most fans have responded in excitement and are pleased that the BBC are taking the story seriously. She added, some people don't like the changes. But a lot of people, even the people who are real devoted purists, We'll have a chat about it, and in general, it's a really lively conversation. Ultimately, I think even the most hard Chrissy fans are really pleased to see that the stories are taken very seriously. Speaking about those who object to any changes away from what has been written in the books, Sarah said, they don't want a story. They want the perfect rendition of their relationship to a particular piece of work. Executive producer James Pritchard also defended the adaptation. He said, Sarah, does add something. That's why we have her. Agatha Christie herself adapted her books for the stage. Now. The first couple of stage adaptations of her books were done by other people and she decided they were terrible. And the reason she decided they were terrible is because they weren't brave enough, they weren't radical enough. He added, well. No one is going to accuse Sarah of not being brave or radical. Ordeal by Innocence continues next Sunday on BBC One at 9pm.